part of it. You saw what happened in Atlanta with Fani, F-A-N-I, Fani. How do you pronounce F-A-N-I, Fani? Donald Trump was speaking at an NRA event on Friday night. He had that bronzer on thick and before our eyes, we someone who's truly in cognitive decline right there. So do not let the media gaslight you. Let's just trust what we can see and hear ourselves, please. Let me show you this. Donald Trump gets lost telling a story about marble columns. Play the clip. I know all about the marbles. I can tell you every marble, but these beautiful columns that are Incredible how they could have done it years ago without the powerful tractors. Here Donald Trump brags about how he did nothing on guns at all and when he was presented even with bipartisan legislation to try to stop the proliferation of guns, he did nothing and he wants to brag about that. Play this clip. During my four years, nothing happened and there was great pressure on me having to do with guns. We did nothing, we didn't yield. And once you yield a little bit, that's just the beginning. That's the avalanche begins. And here Donald Trump brags in no uncertain terms about killing the bipartisan border deal. Play the clip. But you give illegal taxpayer funded lawyers, so they have millions of dollars in this agreement, in this deal, which we, by the way, killed. I think we killed it. I think it's dead, but you can never say it because bad bills always come back to life because these guys make a lot of money with bad bills, but they give millions, tens of millions of dollars, it's down there, to lawyers to represent the illegal immigrants that come into our country. It's, it's not even believable. Well, here Donald Trump says that if President Biden wins the election, that one of the things that's going to happen is that the name of Pennsylvania will be changed. That's what Donald Trump wants to spread, that unhinged conspiracy that the whole name Pennsylvania will be changed. I mean, when you watch this, you're just like, this is some of the most vile, weird, just weird filth that's out there. Here, play this clip. We have to, we have to win in November or we're not gonna have Pennsylvania. They'll change the name. They're gonna change the name of Pennsylvania. Here, Donald Trump believes he's speaking on Saturday afternoon. The speech that I'm showing you took place on uh, Friday evening. Play the clip. I didn't need this. I had a very nice life. Nice Saturday afternoon. I could tell you if I weren't doing this where I would have been, I would have been in a very nice location. Next, Donald Trump talks about uh, the federal criminal cases where he's a criminal defendant. But he says, even though he hid classified documents that he stole, asserted every invalid, improper privilege uh, that exists. He said that he cooperated more than President Biden's cooperation, where President Biden gave full cooperation. And for doing that, President Biden was then met with a Republican special counsel who violated every single Department of Justice rule and then tried to defame him. But here Donald Trump is saying he cooperated more. Play this clip. Thing. I cooperated with the very unfriendly and hostile feds. I cooperated far more than Biden did, who sent records to Chinatown. And here Trump brags that he gave the Department of Justice and FBI officials lunch. He says, I gave them lunch. Play the clip. Biden fought them all the way. I didn't. They're trying to make it the other way. No, Biden fought them very hard. And they never got what they wanted to get anyway. I even gave the DOJ and the FBI lunch at Mar-a-Lago. You know, they say I didn't behave. I gave them lunch. I said, have lunch at beautiful Mar-a-Lago. Next up, Donald Trump tells the same exact story he told over a year ago, where he claims that he watched somebody shoplift and carry a refrigerator. Play the clip. They rush into the store and they walk out with television sets. And I mean, I saw one the other day walking out with a refrigerator. He's got this massive. I said, he's a pretty strong guy, right? Can you believe? And, the and one year ago, Trump told that same story, but he's acting now like it happened again. Here's what he said a year ago. Play the clip. When you see these gangs of hundreds of young, usually young people go and attack 
an apartment store, a department store in San Francisco and Los Angeles and Chicago. And they run in by the hundreds and they're running out carrying refrigerators and carrying air conditioners and big stuff, big little everything. Fur coats, non-fur coats, everything they're carrying. They empty out the stores. Here Donald Trump talks about dino dollars, whatever that means, play the clip. Because he understood tariffs, I charged him massive hundreds of millions of dollars China paid to the United States. Trump tells some story about rich people and subsidies, but he's slurring his entire way through this speech. Play the clip. Rich people are given $7,000 subsidies to buy luxury electric. Here, Donald Trump brags about, uh, oh, just again, another unhinged lie. He claims that he built the entire military. It was all him. He built it all. Here, play this clip. It's who could get elected with this stuff? A woke military. We have a great military. I rebuilt the entire military. All right, let's have some real talk here. 52% of men over 40 experience some form of ED between the ages of 40 and 70. I'm 39 years old, but it's always been a taboo topic. Thankfully, Hims is changing that by providing affordable access to ED treatment all online. Hims is changing men's health care by providing access to affordable and discreet sexual health treatments all from the comfort of your couch. Hims provides access to clinically proven generic alternatives to Viagra and Cialis up to 95% cheaper with options as low as $2 per dose. The process is simple and 100% online. No uncomfortable doctor visits. Answer a series of questions on their site and a medical provider will determine the right treatment option. If prescribed, your medication ships directly to you for free and in discreet packaging. No insurance is needed. Pay one low price for your treatments online visits, ongoing shipments, and provider messaging. Hims has hundreds of thousands of trusted subscribers, so if ED is getting you down, it's time to change that. Start your free online visit today at hims.com slash Midas. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash M-E-I-D-A-S for your personalized ED treatment options. Hims.com slash Midas. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Yeah, that's malignant narcissism right there. And of course, this follows the day before where Donald Trump said that January 6th was an insurrection caused by Nancy Pelosi. Trump said, he says, Nancy Pelosi caused the insurrection. This was after Donald Trump's lawyer argued during oral argument that January 6th was not an insurrection, but that it was a vile and shameful and violent crime that took place. And then Trump undercut his lawyer because his lawyer then would also be incriminating him. But Trump says, it's a Nancy Pelosi insurrection. Here, play this clip. I heard and I watched. And the one thing I'll say is they kept saying about what I said right after the insurrection. Because I think it was an insurrection caused by Nancy Pelosi. And just let me just show you a comparison. Like, this is President Biden. Let me just show you a clip of Biden. Play the clip. Doing nothing is not an option. Republicans have to decide. For years, they said they want to secure the border. Now they have the strongest border bill this country has ever seen. We're seeing statements about how many oppose the bill now. Look, I understand the former president is desperately trying to stop this bill because it's not, he's not interested in solving the border problem. He wants a political issue to run against me. I've all but said that across the board. No one really denies that, that I'm aware of. The American people want a solution that puts an end to the empty political rhetoric, which has failed to do anything for so long. We have to get the resources to the border to get the job done. So Republicans have to decide, who do they serve? Donald Trump or the American people? Are they here to solve problems or just weaponize those problems for political purposes? I know my answer. I serve the American people. I'm here to solve problems. It was just months ago that Republicans were asking for this exact bill to deal with the border, to provide support for Ukraine and Israel. 
and now, and now it's here. And they're saying, never mind, never mind. Folks, we've got to move past this toxic politics. It's time to stop playing games with the world waiting and watching. And by the way, the world is waiting. The world is watching. They are waiting and watching what we're going to do. We can't let, we can't continue to let petty partisan politics get in the way of our responsibility. We're a great nation. It's not acting like a great nation. So I'm calling on Congress to pass this bill. Get it to my desk immediately. You know, and I know that the media wants to gaslight us and the media wants to have all of these narratives and and also hoist up uh, fascism and try to normalize Donald Trump's behavior. But look, I think people are getting it. When you actually speak with voters, especially independent voters, and most Americans, about 42, 43% of Americans identify as independent voters. And they see Donald Trump talking about killing the border bill. They hear Donald Trump about killing common sense legislation to address the proliferations of, of guns. They see Donald Trump brag about Vladimir Putin. They, they see the behavior and I'm comfortable and confident that the people know what's up. Here, play this clip. No Democrats we spoke to here in Battleground, Pennsylvania, the president's birthplace, said the report would change their plans to vote for Biden a second time. I think in terms of the policy and kind of where the, the country's going right now, I, I, you know, I'll favor him. Theater manager Rob Cash telling us he's also convinced by Biden's likely opponent. You still think he's head and shoulders over the other guy? Absolutely. Absolutely. The other guy's a joke. Trump is a joke. I'm sorry. He was and look, when I see clips like that and I read the comments that you send me, you know, a lot of the growth here at the Midas Touch Network is because this is a place where you have independents, where you have progressives and liberals, where you have uh, real conservatives, where you have mainstream Republicans, where you have Democrats, where if your focus is normalcy, if your focus is democracy. If we look at those clips that I just showed you and say that person should be nowhere near the nuclear codes, should be nowhere near a position of power, that Donald Trump is someone who should be absolutely disqualified for being anywhere near any position of power because of his own behavior, because of his statements and his conduct if we believe that, this is a place where we can all kind of come together. I think that's the growth of this network as well. And so, you know, look, share this network, share this video, let people know what's up. And it's so important. You know, I love our democracy. I love our constitution. I love the American flag. I care so deeply about the values and ideals of this country, not just saying it as some slogan though, but really kind of living by it and also trying to improve things, to always make things better and have that arc of history uh, turn towards empowering people, treating people with dignity, not what Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans are doing by taking away your freedoms, taking away women's reproductive rights, trying to divide the country, spewing this hate day in and day out, not supporting our allies. Folks, it's time that we just keep making sure we improve and grow this community together. We're in this together. I just always want you to remember that. And we're not going to be gaslighted. That's why I want to show you those clips. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million subscribers together. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.